All right, guys. So today we're going to do something a little bit special. It's kind of scary, a little nerve wracking. We're going to cut a 14 inch hole in our roof. <laughs> so we're going to show you how to install a Max Fan Deluxe. Max Air Fan Deluxe. Max Air Fan Deluxe into a bus. So <laughs> this is the first time we've ever done this. We've done quite a bit of research. Um, so we feel very confident in what we are doing. So we're going to walk you through and show you the entire process and how it's done. So if you look forward to building your own bus and reconverting it yourself and have to install one, you'll know the proper steps that you need to do to, to do that. Here we go. So the first thing to do is to figure out exactly where you're going to be placing your max air fan. And then you want to measure out a 14 by 14 inch area to make sure it's going to work properly. It has to have eight inches of room for the lid to open and close with no obstructions. And so we're actually gonna have a rooftop a deck that we haven't built yet, but we have to plan ahead to build that. So I'm actually going 10 inches back from where the deck will stop. So there'll be two inches between the air fan and our deck. <sighs> Smoking a little black magic marker today since I quit smoking. It's now my thing for today. I found center of where I want my fan to be. So I'm gonna do the ultimate. I'm about to drill a hole in the roof and then I'm gonna go up on the roof and make sure that it's not on fire. And then I'm gonna do the rest of the measurement from up there. She gone. So we now got a hole in the roof, as you can see. I'm going to use the square and I'm going to use the rivets that are on top of the bus because they are existing and that's what I'm going to square everything off of. That way I'm as straight as can be in the land of nothingness. Same thing on the other side, I'll use what's existing. That roof vent is already there, it's square. So I'm just gonna use that to square me up. Just to double check myself with the level. Dead spot on with the bubble. On my two points, making sure, hopefully we're on the right track. Then what you do is you go back downstairs where you have some extra garage floor pieces and you bring them up here so you don't wreck them knees. So my saw doesn't make any scratches in the roof. And then I've got a line to kind of follow to. All right, so now I'm gonna, I got everything squared up. I got all my tape put down. It's as square as I think it's gonna get. I'm not sure it is what it is. I'm going to drill a hole in the corner inside of my tape so that I can fit my jigsaw into it and cut out the square that we're looking to cut out. So, wish us luck.
that's funny. If you're in the bus, if I'm out of the bus, that means we've got a giant hole in the roof. All right, so now I got the ring that we know fits. We checked everything, it's cleaned up good. And I'm gonna run some butyl tape all the way around. It's this automatic sealant. The second the screws go through it, it seals back up. It's B-U-T-Y-L. And then I've also got some 501 lap sealant. And this stuff is okay to use on the lid of this so that it doesn't uh, counteract and, and make the plastic brittle. Um, it's what's recommended by Max Air. So that's what I'm gonna do now. And this stuff's kind of like a putty. You want to make sure and go over the holes so that they protect as you put the screws in. So we got butyl tape all the way around. Now we'll peel the covering, stick it to the roof. Here we go. Would take a little butyl tape. All right, got all the seams kind of mashed together to make sure that there's no leak areas. Now we flip it over and. Put her in. All right, guys, so I screwed in all the screws going all the way around. Made sure our butyl tape was good. The hole has the max air fan deal in it now, and we should be ready to actually put the fan on. So I'm gonna run upstairs and grab that, and we'll see how the heck it goes. So once you get all the screws done and everything bolted down, you got a couple blisters in your hand that are oozing water. Go ahead, take a break, and you have some barbecue. And then you start over later. Lastly, I got four screws to put in, right here and there, and we're done. So when you are installing the max fan, you do want to make sure that it's open all the way, and that the vent side is facing towards the back. All right, guys, I just got done doing the four screws, this one, this one, and two on the other side. The Max Air fan is installed. I still need to run a little uh, sealant around the whole thing. But as for this, we done with that job. All right, so I got everything cleaned up, cut the remaining of the butyl tape. Now we're gonna put some sealant down. guys obviously showing you the ceiling and the inside I have not insulated yet or put up what I'm gonna have on the ceiling so I'm not gonna worry about the wiring or the beauty ring today we will catch that in another video